Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Rust Belt Collector here, and today we are finally, finally taking a look at the pilot from Wave 1 of the World of Halo line. It took me a while to get this figure because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, with the figures coming out in Wave 1 and the game not actually releasing at the time, I don't really have any reason to pick him up. You know, we didn't really know much about him. I figured he'd be around on shelves for quite a while, and... Um, yeah, I just kind of, I kind of waited because I didn't really know anything about him, and we still technically don't, because the game hasn't come out yet as of recording this video. However, I finally was like, okay, I can't put this off any longer, I need to get him before the game comes out and then everybody wants him, you know, or, you know, they remove him from the shelves, clearance him out or whatever, and I got the last one for my local Walmart, so I'm, I'm very grateful that I did that. And because this is from Wave 1, it does come with in-game content. It hasn't expired yet. Uh, these codes in the Wave 1 figures are good until, I believe, the end of 2021. So it still works for me, but it should also still work for you until December. This one um, I'm going to give away at the end of the video. So if you stick around until then, you can get this code. And it should unlock the Wicked Cool Toys uh, nameplate. The, the six inch figures unlock the weapons coding for the MA40 and this one here for the four inch figures unlocks the nameplate for Wicked Cool Toys which has been bought out by Jazzwares but at the time that they were making these figures it was Wicked Cool Toys. Now like I mentioned this figure is from Wave 1 so you may or may not have a hard time finding it on shelves depending on how fast your local stores turn this figure over. You may also still be able to find him online, but if all else fails, there is a pre-order up on the Xbox gear shop for him as well as Master Chief in an exclusive box. And although it doesn't come with the Wicked Cool Toys code, it actually does come with an in-game charm code, which is like a little you know, charm that you can equip on your weapons. So either way, you can uh, get this figure still if you want it, and both actually do come with exclusive in-game content. Now as for the figure itself, it does come with a standard terrain base that we've been getting with all of these. I do love these. I've gone on about this in every video pretty much, that these are just nice accessories to have for display and even for toy photography. Now for weapon accessories, he comes with the Bulldog Shotgun, arguably the worst shotgun in all of Halo history. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a Wave 1 weapon, and you can definitely see a lot of the issues that they were having early on with these figures in this weapon. Most of the connection points, like the grips and the barrel, are way too thin. The plastic is just way too flimsy, and you can see there's even a dip in the barrel there, which which definitely could be corrected if I was to like heat this up and you know remold it a little bit reposition it but yeah this is just all too common with some of the wave one figures now the the second one the one that's coming out in the xbox gear shop with the exclusive code and all that i want to say that this one will come with the upgraded bulldog because it's a new release um, but if you get the wave one version it probably will have this bulldog but as you can see with this new bulldog they've definitely upgraded it They've beefed up the plastic. You can see there the thickness has drastically changed. The grips are much larger and much more easily held by the characters, and the paint apps are even improved. So this is the one that came in the UNSC Mission Checkpoint set, so it is pretty much the newest version that we've gotten so far in this line, and yeah, they've made some very major changes, and all of them are good. These are really great improvements, and as the line progresses, Issues that arise will be dealt with pretty hastily, it seems like. That's at least been the track record so far. That's one of the reasons why I really love this line. When there's an issue like that Bulldog and a few other issues with articulation and things like that, they've been very quick to retool and even sometimes completely overhaul the, uh, the weapons and the characters. So overall, I'm not too worried about the Bulldog with this figure because, again, I've got two of the UNSC checkpoint sets, so I've got plenty of weapons to spare. I'll give him something different in display or in toy photography. It's, it's not a big deal to me, but it's worth noting that you can get different versions of this figure and the accessories will likely have uh, different characteristics. And now for the pilot figure itself, it's pretty simple overall. I mean, design-wise, he's just got like a blue jumpsuit and a flight suit, probably a UNSC pilot's jumpsuit of some kind. And because the campaign has not released yet, we still don't know what his true name is. He's just the pilot. And, you know, that kind of adds an air of mystery. Maybe we'll find out in the first mission. Maybe it will take 20 missions. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out eventually, I'm sure. But, yeah, the pilot. Hmm. Could be, could be anybody. Maybe... Maybe he's the arbiter in disguise. We may never know. And I gotta say, for a smaller scale, the you know the 118 scale, the 4-inch scale, 
The head sculpt is very nice. There's, there's good sculpting, there's good paint apps all around. It looks really good. The hair sculpting is great as well. And you know, for you customizers out there, this could also make a good alternate head swap for other figures. If you, if you needed a lovely bearded man for a custom, this would be a good head sculpt for that. While the paint apps are fairly minimal on this figure, they are still very nice. You have little buckles there and straps just to accentuate the sculpt that's underneath it. You also have all these pouches that are painted. And then of course you have this really nice printed UNSC logo right there on his shoulder patch, which once again kind of makes me think he's definitely official UNSC, unless maybe he's maybe he's stolen one of their jumpsuits. It's hard to say, but still really interesting and definitely going to be kind of a fun adventure to figure out who he actually is. Now as for articulation, you have a ball joint up at the head so you can get a little side to side tilt forward to there, back to there. Then down to the shoulders you have a hinge and a swivel, so a swivel all the way around. Unfortunately that is as close to the body as it will get. I do think that they could have done a little bit of a like an indent right there to allow that arm to come closer to the torso, but it is what it is there I guess, you're just going to have to deal with that. and. Uh, yeah, it does come up to 90 degrees there. Also on this side, a little bit past that, that pouch does get in the way just a little bit or the patch, what, whatever it may be. But yeah, you can get a little bit more up on this arm and then both elbows do crunch to 90 degrees there, which is really nice to see and can swivel all the way around. Then down to the wrist, once again, hinge and swivel all the way around and then up and down for the hinge joint. And that is for both wrists as well. They hinge up and down. Then down to the torso, you have a ball joint, so you can swivel it side to side, tilt it side to side a little bit, and there is a little bit of forward and back crunching there as well. Then down to the hips, we have a ball joint here at the hip, as well as a thigh swivel, so you can bring the legs forward to a seated position like so. You can bring them back to just a pretty much standing up straight position, and then you can bring them outward to there. And if you bring them forward and you need to do so, you can uh, swivel those thighs inward and maybe just kind of pop those knees a little bit. That may allow him to fit a little bit better into the warthog um, just to kind of fit those legs into the gap there. But yeah, it's a, it's good articulation there overall. Then we have double jointed knees, which gets you a nice crunch all the way back around to there. And then down to the foot, you have a hinge to there, hinge to there, and then forward facing pin rocker, which gives you that nice side to side rotation there as well. And I would say overall, this figure is very, very nice with articulation. My only real gripe with it is those indentations that are missing there under the arms, which would really allow his arms to come down closer to his torso. As it stands now, it's a little bit awkward with that positioning, but he still can. I'm gonna give him the, the, newer, <laughs> the newer bulldog, the slightly better one, but um, he can still hold his weapon pretty well, might be a little bit awkward, and uh, yeah, and yeah, he can look down line of sights kind of, not, not quite as well as some of the Spartans and the Marines, but it's definitely serviceable. Unfortunately, once again, that torso just kind of gets in the way of his arms being really truly fully articulated. That might be something that's retooled and fixed on the, uh, on the new release, I'm definitely going to try and check that out and do a comparison video for you all, but it's really difficult to say without having it in hand. But still, I think this is a crucial figure to have, especially when the campaign drops, then we're gonna find out a lot more about him. And then of course, everyone's gonna want him for their collection. I think up until now, he may have not been the most popular figure because we don't know anything about him. You know, with Master Chief and Marines, well, we've seen those before in games, so we obviously want those. But with him, it's a little bit of a toss up. We don't know if he's going to be a really cool character or if he's not. And so I think people kind of hesitated, but now, now that the game's getting closer, I think he's going to be one that gets picked up. And uh, so don't, you know, just don't miss out on it. If you want to get him, if you're kind of on the fence about getting him, better to be safe than sorry. Pick one up while you can. Um, either get one from Wave 1 like this or get the one from the Xbox shop. Uh, either one is a good option there. And really quick, you know, just as a little comparison, I figured it'd be worth it to show how he stacks up next to other World of Halo figures. Here he is next to a Marine, and they're about the same height, which I think is really to be expected. They are both uh, humans, non-augmented humans, so it makes sense there. And then here he is next to the Master Chief. I think that scale is pretty accurate from what we've seen in game, um, given that he's probably somewhere between five foot five and six foot. And then we have Master Chief standing in at like well over six feet. I forget his exact height, but 
you know, it, it kind of it balances out there. It's a really nice scale comparison. I'm glad that they bulked up the Master Chief and made the Marines and uh, the pilot in scale to how tall a Spartan would actually be. Then for a third and final comparison, here they are with the Brute. And as you can see, uh, yeah, the Brute, the Brute towers over both of them, actually. We're going to have to kind of tilt the camera up just to kind of see those together. Yeah, the Brutes are going to be massive in this game, and I'm absolutely excited to to just jump into the world, explore, and fight off all the all the new enemy types that we're going to be encountering. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for as we wrap up this video, here is the code. Like I said, it should unlock the Wicked Cool Toys nameplate. It's a pretty cool one. It's what I have equipped on my uh, on my profile. So if you're interested, then use this code right here. First come, first serve. There's only one available and you can redeem it at halowaypoint.com forward slash redeem. And yeah, there you go. Uh, just, I already, I already unlocked it. And so I figured might as well give you guys the chance to uh, have, have some fun in Halo as well. So there you go. And um, yeah, that's where we're wrapping this video up. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Down in the description, there's a link. If you want to check out my social media, I do toy photography over on Instagram, as well as just posting general toy updates, stuff like that, fun things for the community. So you can check out that account as well as some other things down the link tree. Just have fun and peruse that if you feel so inclined. Also like, comment, subscribe, all those wonderful YouTube things. And as always, have a wonderful evening, noon, or night, depending on when you watch this movie, this movie, this this episode here on YouTube, whatever this is, I don't even know anymore. But as always, I will catch you all in the next video.